Hey y'all. So I'm slowly doing better with the steroid pills that I have and with the um, cream that I have. I still have bouts of real serious itching. I have a, a allergic dermatitis for those of you that don't know. And it's from the flea and tick spray that I use on my clothes because I don't allow the clothes to always dry. Sometimes I spray. Okay, I had a bad habit of spraying and then putting them on right away. That's a bad deal, bad deal. It's more toxic when it's wet, so you need to let your clothes dry before you put them on. And this is an expensive lesson that I'm learning, as in paying with my body, you know. So, um, just want to talk to you about something really quick. And I keep seeing this happen over and over again, and I've coached people with this and it's really hard to get through to somebody who has too much empathy okay real hard to get through to them because they want to fall back on their emotions right and that's not always a good thing um your empathy was used as a weapon in the first place i'm gonna let that sink in Your empathy was used as a weapon in the first place. Okay. This person knew, and they may have even tested you with, with your empathy. They may have given you a sob story when they first met you. And whether it's true or not, who knows? A lot of times it may not be true. Um, they give you a sob story to see where your empathy levels are. Or if you have empathy at all. Okay. Once they determine that you have empathy, then they know that you're a good target. This doesn't always happen. Not every narc behaves the same, but this isn't unheard of, okay? Um, so, it's... Once you realize that a narcissist can never love you, and I know it hurts, I know it's a karate kick to your heart, I know it's devastating, it's crushing, you cry so hard you can't breathe because you really love this person. If you truly loved them, it, you know, the longer you're with them, the harder it gets. If, if you develop love for them, it just compounds the, difficult, um, the difficulty of having to make the choice to leave them. But if you guys broke up or if they dumped you, or you got a divorce or whatever. The worst thing that you can do is feel badly for them. You want to apologize to them. You want to get back with them because you feel badly that you got angry at them for them abusing you. Does that make sense to you? Think If you think logically, it's really hot out here. Whoo, child. Um, if you think logically, why would you feel badly because you defended yourself against someone who was abusive to you? It's kind of like your boss decided nobody's getting a paycheck Friday. Uh, I'm not, we're not going to do payroll. Um, you'll get a check when I feel like giving you a check. And then you go home disappointed that you're not going to get a paycheck and you call your boss and you apologize to them because you're not getting a check. Does that make sense? It doesn't. That person's doing the wrong thing and you feel badly. You've got it backwards and I'm not being mean. I'm just telling you, you've got that twisted and you've got it backwards. This person wouldn't pour water on you if you were on fire. This is the wrong person to feel badly for. This is the wrong person to apologize to. All right. If you were in the wrong, then you should feel bad. But if this person is abusive and sneaky and manipulative and a liar and a cheater, what are you apologizing for? That defies logic and reason. It defies logic and reason. You got to stop this. You're putting yourself in prison on purpose. You got released, but you called the warden and you said, can we make arrangements for me to come back to prison? Because 
I really don't like having my own freedom and I don't like being in control of my own life. I, I really prefer someone to boss me around and control me and manipulate me. And I need to be in a situation where I constantly have to look over my shoulder. Can I come back to prison? I've used that analogy before. Does that make sense to you? It does not. When you're with the wrong person, you're incarcerated. When you're with the wrong person, you are incarcerated. Don't volunteer to go back to prison and stop focusing on them because they don't give a rat's ass about you. I have to be harsh about it and I have to be blunt because y'all not getting it. Some of y'all not getting it. They wouldn't give a damn if you died today. Do not take that personally because they don't love anyone unless they've been to comprehensive psychotherapy and they've learned how to have empathy and they learned how to think about someone other than themselves. That is a path that a lot of them just don't do. They, they're not going to go to therapy, period. They're not. They feel like everybody else is wrong and they're the only angel, which is a lie. Do not throw yourself under the bus. When you put too much love into the wrong person and you feel sorry for the wrong damn person, you are abandoning yourself. You are not loving yourself. You are kicking yourself in the face. That's not something you want to do. It's, it's just illogical. Illogical. Put that energy towards someone who can love you. For real. Someone who could have respect for you. For real. Not a rattlesnake who's a liar and a cheat and a backstabber. You're giving the energy to the wrong damn person. If you're incapable, incapable of learning how to love someone who loves you, then, and I don't mean tells you they love you, because anybody can say that dumb shit. That don't mean a hill of beans. Love is an action word. Yes, you could feel love, but you also do love. In other words, somebody needs to go to the hospital at 2 o'clock in the morning. You get out your bed and you go get take them to the ER. It's not always about you. Love is about what you're willing to do for someone else. The narcs are only going to put their self first. First and foremost, baby. So if you can't learn how to love someone who actually loves you back, and you feel sorry for a demon, then you need to go to comprehensive therapy or you need to go to group therapy. You need to do something because your thought process is not correct and you're abandoning yourself. That's the last thing you want to do when you've already been abandoned by an evil person. All right. Y'all think about that and I'll talk to you later. Bye.